nervous or anything, right? <laughs> Try not to look like I'm creeping you out. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Stephanie. Stephanie. Where are you from, Stephanie? Uh, Walnut, California. Walnut? <laughs> Walnut, California? Walnut, yeah. Well, Where's that? Near Pomona and Diamond Bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I got my American citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Yeah. Did you hear that noise there? <laughs> did you think I passed gas? You did, didn't you? <laughs> my foot went like this on the thing. It went boom. And then, and then I was like, oh, people, did anyone notice that? And then if, if I don't bring attention to it, people are, you're gonna, Stephanie's gonna be like, oh God, that's creepy. <laughs> But I didn't. It's not Larry King. It's fine. You know. I... <laughs> but I got my citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Were you were you born American? Yeah. Well, you never had to do that then. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, at the fairground there, we had this big ceremony. It was uh, three thousand new Mexican Americans and one new Scottish American. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> what do you do then, Stephanie? I go to school in Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah. Harvard? Wellesley College. <laughs> Smarter than I thought. <laughs> I may be being played for a fool. <laughs> so, Stephanie, if that is your real name, what are you studying? Environmental science. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I really don't want to look stupid. <laughs> of course, if I didn't want to look stupid, I would never have taken this job eight years ago. <laughs> so, you don't mind me doing Shakespearean asides, do you, at any point? No. Do you enjoy the work of Shakespeare? I'm in the Shakespeare Society at Wellesley. <laughs> <laughs> She must have known I was going to be here tonight. <laughs> this is a worry to me, a vexation of my spirit. I begin to think something Shakespearean, <laughs> which we could add later. If only we weren't live. <laughs> Do you have a favorite of Shakespeare's plays? Midsummer Night's Dream. Ah, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? With the play within the play? Yeah. <laughs> Almost like a late-night talk show within the late-night talk show. <laughs> Have you ever played any uh, Shakespearean roles? I was Mustard Seed in Midsummer Night's Dream. A fairy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're very impressed. What is environmental science, then? You study sustainability and conservation of the planet. <laughs> and how are we doing? We could do better. <laughs> are you making fun of me? <laughs> I think you're lovely. Thank Wait, you. How long are you going to be in the, in the college there? Two more years. Ah, and then? Study the environment for money. Yeah. <laughs> Methinks she'll be doing a late night talk show like everyone else. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sponsored by Denny's. America's Diner is always open. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
great. And thanks, nobody, for saying anything when I nearly fell. Did you see me nearly fall there? I came out, I was like, oh, oh, oh this is it. I went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> and then I had, did that thing where you pretend I was just kind of dancing a little bit. <laughs> Doing it like where you walk by someone and you trip and you want to look, you kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just dancing a little bit. I dance a little bit in Starbucks. You got a problem with that? <laughs> with my dancing. I'm, I'm dancing. Man. That's what I'm doing. Because that's what people want, a 50-year-old foreigner dancing. <laughs> Dance, old man. Hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, we did. This morning, this very morning, let it be marked in the history books, this very morning on The View, which I watch every day. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I watch The Talk on CBS. Of course. <laughs> Completely different show. It's like trading spouses and wife swap. Completely different show. <laughs> anyway, I was watching The View, and Barbara Walters talked about losing her virginity. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. The theme of today's episode was things I didn't want to know. <laughs> you call me old-fashioned, but I think Barbara Walters' virginity is none of my business. That should be between Barbara and King Arthur. Right there. <laughs> there. She was a young reporter. He was a mythical king. So, where is your round table? <laughs> Do you know that movie, King Arthur, the King Arthur, where, where uh, Sean Connery was King Arthur and Richard Gere was, uh, was Sir Lancelot? Remember that movie? Well, and I didn't see it either, but they, uh, <laughs> No, there was this movie, and uh, Ben Cross, who was in Chariots of Fire, he played the bad guy, but he beat me in the audition. For, I auditioned for that movie. I could have been in that movie, and instead I'm here. <laughs> And this would have been the Late Late Show with Ben Cross. <laughs> Which, uh, it might not be, but anyway, uh, yesterday on eBay, this is true, a buyer paid $18,000 for a pair of Quinn, Quinn? Quinn. <laughs> Queen, Queen Elizabeth's underpants. <laughs> That's true, they were on, I don't know how, uh, yes! $18,000 for a pair of underpants. He said buying them was easy, the tough part was getting them off her, but he bought <laughs> Do you believe it? That can't be true. How do you authenticate that? <laughs> anyway, the, the real reason it's a great day for America, of course, is we have a new American Idol this evening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just watched the finale before I came out because we were live in your region. And <laughs> I always think the American I uh, Idol finales are kind of overrated. They don't announce the winner to the very end. It's two hours of boredom and it builds up to a few seconds of excitement. It's like sex. <laughs> And they both end with me screaming, you picked the wrong guy! <laughs> but... No, wait. <laughs> I haven't I didn't watched the uh, American Idol yet. Yeah, I've got it on my TiVo thing. Uh, so don't tell me who we won. <laughs> I'm going to watch it tonight, right after I watch the season premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm not watching that. <laughs> I do like watching the American Idol, though, to see the new judge, you know, the sexy mamacita. She's gorgeous. What's her name again? Uh, 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 Steven Tyler. No. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, of course. Uh, but the rumors are that J-Lo is leaving American Idol, and I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> first Simon Cowell, then J-Lo. Right there. That's the two biggest asses in Hollywood. What are they going to do? <laughs> That's right. Some people, some people here in Hollywood were hoping that American Idol would fail after the departure of uh, Simon Cowell. And when I say some people, I mean Simon Cowell. <laughs> but American Idol actually tapes right here, right here in Television City, uh, over, the, you know, over there. Sometimes I see their, the studio audience leaving at the same time that mine does. The only difference is their studio audience looks happy and entertained. <laughs> And mine leave like, oh, that was kind of sad. Mm. 
<laughs> you got to respect the American Idol, though, because it's turned out to be an archetype for hundreds of different shows. Without American Idol, there wouldn't be the, the uh, X Factor, the, the Voice, uh, the um, Sing Sing, you fat bastard. The... <laughs> Uh, dance, monkey, dance, that one. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> that would be a good show, actually. <laughs> I can believe it's butter, actually. Now, American Idol started out in Britain, and they called it Pop Idol. And there's versions all over the world. They get Canadian Idol, Italian Idol, German Idol. Well, German Idol is actually French Idol. They just take, take it when they're done. <laughs> what a... Let it go, man, let it go. <laughs> One of tonight's finalists, though, is a young dude named uh, Philip Phillips. But he's either the finalist or the winner, I, I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> Philip Phillips, I think that's, that sounds like lazy parenting to me. <laughs> what name would you like your baby, Mrs. Phillips? Uh, Philip. <laughs> what do you want? I just had a baby. <laughs> it's a slang word that women sometimes use when they have babies. <laughs> I've been to a couple of those events. Let me tell you, that word gets... I'm just trying to be accurate! <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure if parents are being lazy when they name Philip Phillips or just being hilarious. It's like naming your kid Dick Trickle, you know? <laughs> no! A real NASCAR driver, Dick Trickle. Look it up. I, he's a great driver. I used to love watching Dick Trickle. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to both of tonight's finalists. They're both uh, very talented, of course. But you don't need to be ta as if talented to be on TV, clearly. <laughs> Being a successful in show business is more about working hard and kissing ass and, and working hard at kissing ass. But I refuse to work hard and I refuse to kiss ass. And that's how I ended up here. <laughs> in the basement. With the creeped out audience. And my gay robot skeleton pal. <laughs> Say hi to the folks, Jeff. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Did you watch the American Idol? Don't tell me who won, but did you watch it? Oh, yeah, it was riveting. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do you like the... <laughs> Love that part. Love when they bastardize every song with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every song they've got, they always add the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, knock it off! What do you think? <laughs> were, were, you, were you having a seizure just then? Yeah, a little bit. I think it was a little bit seizure -y. Did it sound seizure -y? <laughs> You should have pretended a trip. It could have been a dance. <laughs> is it my imagination that you sound a little bit like Regis tonight? Do I sound like Regis? That's because it is Regis. Ah. <laughs> you sounded a little bit like Regis, and then you sounded a lot like Regis. Well, now I'm going to keep talking like Regis. Yeah, no, cut it out. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, right. Coming up after the break, watch a 50-year-old foreigner dance his way into your heart. Plus... <laughs> show where tonight there's been a few Shakespearean asides. Jeff doesn't know about it. <laughs> right, Jeff? What the hell's going on over there? <laughs> I thought you hadn't noticed my Shakespearean asides. I'd done a couple of Shakespearean asides. It's a technique in which the actor talks directly to the audience to advance the plot. Jeff doesn't know about this, but I think he's about to. <laughs> oh, I see, Craig. Craig doesn't know about this, but I'm on to his game. <laughs> You know, it's always seemed to me, though, a device when used in the theater, very difficult to pull off. It's very hard to believe. <laughs> I mean, you kind of think, don't the rest of the actors see him walking out to the front of the stage and doing that thing with his mouth? <laughs> of course, they wouldn't see him if you didn't turn the light on in the camera. Apparently, this 50-year-old foreigner moves too quickly for this director. 
However, I shan't complain. I'll return to my seat and pretend to enjoy it. <laughs> Jeff, keep them going. Yes, yes. I couldn't agree more, Craig, with what you're saying. I would walk over to the camera, but I am not able to walk. <laughs> Mrs. Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who used to dance under the name Krusty Shingles. <laughs> what? what do you think? Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Pedal to the pedal, we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm grown. From uh, Jeff and Winchester in Massachusetts. You ever, uh, you ever been up there oh, to yeah, Winchester? I love Winchester, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What do you do when you're in Winchester? Oh, I like to get up there, visit some friends, throw some beads, <laughs> do a little swimming. <laughs> what Craig doesn't realize is I've never invited him to these excursions before. What Jeff doesn't realize is that I know he can't go swimming because he's an electrical appliance. <laughs> what Craig fails to understand is that I watch him while he sleeps at night. What Jeff doesn't know is I'm not sleeping. <laughs> what I've just realized is I can't actually use my arm to cover my mouth from Craig. <laughs> That's why I knew what he was saying all along. <laughs> you rat bastard. <laughs> anyway, there, Jeff in Winchester says, Hey, Craig and Jeff, can you show us some ferrets again? They're too cute. Uh, I don't know, do we have a picture of me and my ferrets, do we? That's enough. That's that's en that's enough. That's enough, Ferris. So, hey, you applaud that. I'll do it again. Uh, this is from uh, Abby in Hartford, Connecticut. You ever been to Hartford, Connecticut? Oh, Got a little place you yeah, like to go swimming and all that. Ooh, la, la. All Come right. On, uh, crap. Dear Craig and Jeff, for the past three years, I haven't been able to think of something to send you. So hi. Uh, this is from Patricia in Lansing, Michigan. Never been to Lansing, Michigan? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? I don't even care for the... Uh, dear Craig and uh, GP, should I be concerned that my husband dyed his hair, grew a beard, and bought a new car? Yes, he's gay. Uh, he's not gay, he's just having a midlife crisis. <laughs> what she doesn't realize is that midlife crisis also includes him being gay. <laughs> I'm doing the aside to Jeff, so stop looking at me with that camera and look at me with that camera. No, not, not that close. I, I can have a 50. <laughs> Gee, what the hell? Uh, we're out of time, so we've only got three left. We'll do it very quickly, I promise, very quickly. All right, uh, this is from Gretchen in Durham, North Carolina. Everybody in North Carolina? <laughs> All right. Hi, Craig and Jeff. I start summer school next week. Any tips on making the most of it? Beer. Uh, <laughs> This is from Jake in Austin, Texas. Everybody in Austin, yeah, Texas, go over and see that. Dear Craig Jeff and Secretariat! Who's that? <laughs> All right, oops, no. I'm trying to get through this. Uh, Jake says, uh, Dear uh, Craig, have you ever cried in public? <laughs> Uh, and finally, this is from Jessica in Tacoma, Washington. Never been to Tacoma? Yeah, sure, yeah, you love it. It's a great place. Great place. Great right. place. Good time. Hey, Craig and Jeff, my boyfriend wants to quit his job, quit his job, uh, to pursue a music career. How do I tell him that's a terrible idea? Yeah. <laughs> what will you sit him down and you say, hey, I love you, but I want to crush your dreams. <laughs> that dream you have of having a fulfilling life, 
Give it up. <laughs> Jeff, I'm saying the opposite of... Yes, pull back a bit, you bastard. <laughs> Jeff, I was saying the opposite of what I really think in an attempt at humour. How do you think it went? Your attempt at explaining it didn't help it any further. <laughs> I'll just say goodnight to the audience, and they'll, th well, I mean, commercial break time to the audience. <laughs> I got their hopes up there for a minute. <laughs> I'll do <t> <laughs> Oh, we'll be right back after this. in the client list Sunday nights on the Lifetime channel take a look at this so you've got a few minutes left is there anything else I can do for you well I gotta say it'd be even hotter in here if you didn't look like my dental hygienist <laughs> <laughs> and if that wasn't wedged into your is this better much okay now where were we getting warmer you know what I think I have just the idea on how to turn the heat up in here real high. <laughs> this is lifetime telling? <laughs> I feel someone's playing me for a fool. <laughs> Please welcome the adorable Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Jennifer Love Hewitt. seen you in ages. I know, it's really nice to see you. It's lovely to see you. It's better for me, let me tell you. <laughs> you, you look great. You look Thank so you. Uh, healthy. Thank you. Thanks so much. I feel healthy. You look very healthy indeed. Uh, have you been Have you been working out at all? I have a lot. Yeah. Yes. You, well, because in the show you take your clothes off a lot, clearly. Constantly. I, yes. I, I wonder, do you have any DVD copies of it? Really? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Yeah, yes. I, I quite like to see. I'm having trouble keeping my eyes in one place, Jennifer. Why? Uh, Why is that? Well, because I, I, they keep falling. <laughs> After all this time, I haven't seen you for all this time, and, I, and I'm not looking at you at all. <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages, and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Stick your hair in your yeah. cleavage. That'll really make it okay. <laughs> that's not sexy at yeah. all. Yeah. Here, hello. Oh, that's... Hi. No, you're squishing them and together. Oh. It's not... <laughs> Now, um, how are things? You play... What do you... Play? You play a, a I sexy play a happy lady? ending specialist. Wow. That's, yeah, that's classy. The, no, I think it's I I think it's an essential uh, service. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, it did is. You do, did you? Did this is probably? Did you do any research at all? No, no, no. Mm, no. So it, it's all just. It's all just. I just see how it goes on that day with that client. <laughs> Would you like to be on the show? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I really wanted to be on the Ghost Whisperer, but the, yeah, no, the, this, the, is the, this is the one I really want <laughs> to be is on. Better. Yeah, because yeah. I want to be like, uh. Yeah. But I would be doing the same thing on this. I'd be like, uh, on this. <laughs> Except it's appropriate for you to look there on our well, show. Well, yeah, yeah, I would only know. be doing it in an acting capacity. One hundred percent. Did you write this show? No. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm like, do 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 happy endings, cleavage. No. No. Somebody else, I, no. Somebody else is writing it. Right, I'm but, just but, doing it. You, well, you're you're doing a great job. Hey, uh, thank you. Uh, it's fantastic. And, thank and you. Wait, did you get embarrassed doing that kind of scene? It's weird sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. There are days when I actually feel a little bit like a real hooker, maybe. No. <laughs> I, I think everyone in show business feels but like yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, you know it's I mean? an act. 
dress hookers yeah. or yeah. the same I mean, thing. Yeah, I mean, as soon as, oh. you know, talks about them, like, oh, enjoy the products advertised. <laughs> 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 Like, some days I'll have, like, six massages in a day, and so I'll sort of go change into lingerie, come back, and there's a different guy there. I'm like, well, where did the... Okay, well, I guess we're done with that scene. He's gone, and so then there's a new guy, and he's like, hey, nice to meet you, and I'm... Nice to meet you, too, and then I take my top off, and it's... It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Wow, that's a very yeah. wow, it's a very odd thing. I don't know though. I mean, I mean, you're very kind of uh, wholesome. I mean, there must, it's lifetime. There can't be. It is know. no. And and to be fair, she it was not the job she was searching for. Obviously, she I play a single mom with two right. kids who's a Texas mom and was an ex beauty queen and all these things. And ah. she sort of falls on hard times, and that's why she has to end up going and working there. And she just happens to be really good at it. <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah. just stay there for yeah. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you're from Texas, aren't you? I am. Oh, well, what I part am. of Texas are you from? I, I was born in Waco, mm -hmm. and I grew up in Colleen, Texas. Colleen? Yes, which is where the Fort Hood Army base is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I'm I glad saw you the did. disco I'm ball. Just, I'm, no, I'm glad. And you. it made me go, ooh, ooh. You know how they, yeah. And you just go, ooh, ooh, yeah. just as much as you damn like, yeah. young lady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you like the disco music? I really, I do like disco music. Really? Yes, do you? You know, I, n n not no? so much. I, I, I kind of, uh, I, the era that I was kind of, you know, uh, getting involved yeah. in music, uh, disco was the enemy. Uh, right. But um, you liked it? I did like it. I see. I did. <laughs> You're the first person that I've ever met in my life that's ever said, yeah, I actually like disco. Everyone else is like, oh, I was never into it. I'm like, really? No, there's I really lot. like it. Yeah, okay. I think there's something very saucy and perky about it. <laughs> saucy and perky are definitely words in my head right now, but I... <laughs> I don't know how you can... Oh, look, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Do you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or do you want uh, the go for the big cash prize? A mouth organ? Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we should just go for the awkward pause. Uh, I, 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 fine. <laughs> you want to do awkward pause with subtext? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do awkward pause with... Um, smell my finger. <laughs> See, that's the subtext. <laughs> No, I, I'll... Uh, what? Am I supposed to actually smell it? <laughs> this, well, that's, this is awkward. Yeah, exactly. It's about as awkward. Exactly. Okay. That's why I said smell my finger and now you feel awkward. Can I have the disco ball again? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there you are. Just hold on to that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, maybe that could be the thing. We've always wanted to do a thing with the glittery ball. We tried to do it, like, uh, at the end of the show, you know, at the end of yeah. the interview. You know, do you want a mouth organ, awkward pause, oh, or... Allow people to do a disco dance. Well, that's, that's what we could do. All right, I'll hold the... Do you want to do the disco ball? Sure. Right, I'll hold it above your head, and you do a little disco dance, okay. all right? Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Back to the show, everybody. My next guest is another very, very beautiful actress. <laughs> She's in the uh, True Blood uh, show, the season premiere of which is on Sunday night on June the 10th. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing it a little bit tonight. I'm like, ah, hey, you're a very attractive young lady. Hey. <laughs> Please welcome the beautiful Rutina Wesley, everybody. Rutina Wesley. Tina, you look, you look sensational, too. It's almost... A, did you meet Jennifer backstage? I did. I yep. did, oh, briefly. That, uh, do you guys have a little pillow fight or something? Or... <laughs> Maybe. Nah. <laughs> hey, the, this vampire show has gone crazy. This is the sexiest vampires ever, right? They're... Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Is there more sexy vampire shenanigans going on this season? More sexy vampire shenanigans. Sex, 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 sex. Raw. <laughs> 
Are you still talking or am I just hearing this <laughs> voice? <laughs> um, no, I just said there's more sex. That's all Yeah, I said. yeah, I, sorry. I just kind of went, ah. <laughs> sex, 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 raw. Sex, sex. <laughs> Where are you from, Martina? Las Vegas. Las Vegas, that's right. I remember now when you were here before because you don't gamble, right? No, you know, the nickel slots every now yeah, and then. Yeah, that's not really but, gambling, I know, I, you, yeah. know, you know. But I guess if you live in Las Vegas, you're not really attracted to all that kind of thing. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, it is a game. And, I mean, yeah. sometimes you win big and most of the time you lose big. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just hearing sex, sex, sex. Sex, oh, sex, oh, sex, sex, sex. Oh. Do you ever go out into the desert near Las Vegas and take some peyote and have a mysterious experience with your spirit guide? <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Every well, now that's again. the thing about out there in the desert. I mean, you know, you get some powerful hallucinogens going there. It's awesome. I mean, terrible. Uh, <laughs> no, I... I you, no, you I you? used to, I used to, I used to, uh, but I don't anymore. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, you know, back years and years ago, you know, in the 20s. Tw mm. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> You 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 look at you look very uh, do you work you work out a lot too, don't you? A little bit. Yeah, little bit. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What do you do? Do you do the spinning? No. Pilates. Pilates. You gotta be careful with that and make you crazy. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> no, it does. How does it make you crazy? Well, you know, remember this is coming from someone that took a lot of hits of acid. But I I <laughs> But I, uh, I think Pilates, Pilates was developed by Joseph Pilates after the First World War, and, and it was developed as a physical therapy. It was not meant to be an exercise regime for, or regimen, not regime. A regime is... <laughs> an exercise regime is a, is a country where everyone is made to exercise. Right, right. Right. It's not meant to be an exercise regimen for beautiful actresses. It, it'll, it'll make you crazy. That's the side effect of it. Okay. <laughs> I guess I should not do... Pilates. Well, you can do some, I suppose. But a little bit. How much do you do? You know, like three times, three, four times a week. That's too much. Okay. All right. So you maybe like once a week and then maybe do some yoga. Do you ever do the yoga? I do do some yoga, yeah. Uh, do you do the hot yoga? Mm-mm. Do you do the cold yoga? <laughs> Just regular? I do the raw yoga. Oh, I bet you do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I do, I do, uh, like a vinyasa flow, yeah. Whoa, know. hey, there you go, Ooh. yeah. A vinyasa flow, that's like you do the <laughs> downward dog, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell's with the bookings right now? It's like, it's just beautiful women all the time. It's, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> Do you feel um, uh, competitive with other beautiful actresses? Is that a thing in, in Hollywood? Do you, like, when you see another beautiful actress uh, doing well, do you think, ah, damn, I wish I was, you know, doing that? No. Uh, no come on now, No, really? I mean, you can't be. You have to feel pretty in your own skin. And you also have to support, uh, you know, other, other beautiful women. And I think we should all support each other as women, you know? But I, I don't think it's... It's good to be competitive. I think it's like a negative energy. I like to keep... Have you been in this town long? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, mean, long I, think it's, to know. I think it's good to try and keep uh, some kind of spiritual health. That's nice. Right. Yeah, okay, you're right. Now, where do you make the, the true blood? Do you make it in L.A.? No. Where'd you make it? Far, far away. <laughs> in Shrek? <laughs> No, it's here, and then we shoot some stuff in, in uh, Louisiana as well. Oh, see, now, I like Louisiana. You, you, you like it down there? I like the food. Yeah, the food's very nice. you got to do a lot of Pilates after you do some of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever go to New Orleans there? I've been to New Orleans. I like New Orleans, New Orleans yeah. Do you have uh, that powdery bread stuff they got there? The, the, is that the beignets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say it, but um, you do that with your fingers again. That's nice. <laughs> So I'm married. Uh, yeah. You married? Yes. Yeah, good. good. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you seem to be you seem to be handling it better than I am right now. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm just kidding. Uh, where did you meet your husband? We met at school, actually. You married your yeah, uh, high school Juilliard. sweetheart? No, uh, Juilliard. All right, so that's kind of college, right? Yeah. You met your college sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You married him. That's great. And you were at Juilliard? Mm -hmm. Studying acting? Yep. And what was he studying? Acting. So he's an actor too? Mm -hmm. Do you ever guys, do you guys like act out? 
things? <laughs> like, do you pretend to be Barbara Walters and he presents to be King Arthur or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the time. We're out of time. What do you fancy? A mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, disco dancing, or, uh, which is the new one, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? Let's go for the big cash prize. What time is it, Justin? It's time for the big cash prize! on it, just like the burglars use, in quarters, okay? All right. All right, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And you try and imagine what's in it. And then if you guess right, it's great. And you win the money. And if you guess wrong... Okay. Okay. How, how, how do you want to do it? Box. Okay. I'm imagining a box, Jeff. Not for the first time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Jeff, do you have the box? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Regina, what is in the box? Ay, caramba! Dancing? <laughs> Is that the is that the NASCAR driver Dick Trickle dancing or a style of dancing? Call right. Okay. Uh, uh, Jeff, what is in the box? We would have accepted six 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 raw, but it is. I can have a. I was just thinking that, you know, when you have a kind of creepy, leering foreigner, you know, kind of ogling pretty woman, it, 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 it's pretty much the Benny Hill show. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Can you feel it when I do that? Yeah, do it again. <laughs> So, what, what, anyone learn anything on the show tonight? <laughs> Jeff? I didn't learn jack squat. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. There's got to be something. I think I learned something. I think whoever's doing the bookings for this show needs a raise. <laughs> Me saying that, of course, is not legally binding. <laughs> and they're not actually going to get a raise. In fact, Jeff? <laughs> did you just go, Poo -poo? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. That's odd that Jeff can make that sound, yet he has no lungs. <laughs> what Craig doesn't realize is now I'm no longer gay after tonight's show. <laughs> What Jeff doesn't realize is it doesn't clear up just because a couple of nice-looking girls walk in. <laughs> what Craig doesn't realize is a little ointment helps it to clear up right away. <laughs> what Jeff doesn't realize is we're no longer talking about the same thing. <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> Good night, everyone. or anything, right? <laughs> Try not to look like I'm creeping you out. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Stephanie. Stephanie. Where are you from, Stephanie? Uh, Walnut, California. Walnut? <laughs> Walnut, California? Walnut, yeah. Well, Where's that? Near Pomona and Diamond Bar. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I got my American citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Yeah. Did you hear that noise there? <laughs> did you think I passed gas? You did, didn't you? 
my foot went like this on the thing. It went boom. And then, and then I was like, oh, people, did anyone notice that? And then if, if I don't bring attention to it, people are, you're going to, Stephanie's going to be like, oh, God, that's creepy. <laughs> but I didn't. It's not Larry King. It's fine. You know, I, but I got my citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Were you, were you born American? Yeah. Well, you never had to do that then. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, at the fairground there, we had this big ceremony. It was uh, 3,000 new Mexican-Americans and one new Scottish-American. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> what do you do then, Stephanie? I go to school in Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah. Harvard? Wellesley College. <laughs> Smarter than I thought. <laughs> I may be being played for a fool. <laughs> Stephanie, if that is your real name, <laughs> what are you studying? Environmental science. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I really don't want to look stupid. <laughs> of course, if I didn't want to look stupid, I would never have taken this job eight years ago. <laughs> so, you don't mind me doing Shakespearean asides, do you, at any point? Do you enjoy the work of Shakespeare? I'm in the Shakespeare Society at Wellesley. Kayla <laughs> was leaving American Idol, and I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> first Simon Cowell, then J Lo, right there. That's the two biggest asses in Hollywood. What are they gonna do? <laughs> That's right. Some people, some people here in Hollywood were hoping that American Idol would fail after the departure of uh, Simon Cowell. And when I say some people, I mean Simon Cowell. <laughs> but American Idol actually tapes right here, right here in Television City, uh, over, the, you know, over there. Sometimes I see their, the studio audience leaving at the same time that mine does. The only difference is their studio audience looks happy and entertained. <laughs> And mine leave like, oh, that was kind of sad. Mm. You gotta respect the American Idol though, because it's turned out to be an archetype for hundreds of different shows. Without American Idol, there wouldn't be the the X Factor, the the Voice, uh, the um, Sing Sing, you fat bastard, the uh, Dance Monkey Dance, that one. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> That would be a good show, actually. <laughs> I can believe it's butter, actually. Now, American Idol started out in Britain, and they called it Pop Idol. And there's versions all over the world. They get Canadian Idol, Italian Idol, German Idol. Well, German Idol is actually French Idol. They just take, take it when they're done. <laughs> what a... Let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> One of tonight's finalists, though, is a young dude named uh, Philip Phillips. But he's either the finalist or the winner, I, I can't remember. Anyway, Philip Phillips, I think that's, that sounds like lazy parenting to me. <laughs> what name would you like your baby, Mrs. Phillips? Uh, Philip. <laughs> what do you want? I just had a baby. <laughs> it's a slang word that women sometimes use when they have babies. <laughs> I've been to a couple of those events. Let me tell you, that word gets... I'm just trying to be accurate! <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure if parents are being lazy when they name Philip Phillips or just being hilarious. It's like naming your kid Dick Trickle, you know? <laughs> no! A real NASCAR driver, Dick Trickle. Look it up. I, he's a great driver. I used to love watching Dick Trickle. <laughs> Diner is always open. for saying anything when I nearly fell. Did you see me nearly fall there? I came out, I was like, oh, ho, ho, 
about this? Is it? And I went, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> and then I did that thing where you pretend I was just kind of dancing a little bit. <laughs> Doing it like where you walk by someone and you trip and you want to look, you kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just dancing a little bit. I dance a little bit in Starbucks. You got a problem with that? <laughs> what? I'm dancing. I'm trying to entertain the people with my dancing. I'm, I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Because that's what people want, a 50-year-old foreigner dancing. <laughs> Dance, old man. Hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, we did. This morning, this very morning, let it be marked in the history books, this very morning on The View, which I watch every day. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I watch The Talk on CBS. <laughs> Completely different show. It's like trading spouses and wife swap. Completely different show. <laughs> anyway, I was watching The View, and Barbara Walters talked about losing her virginity. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. The theme of today's episode was things I didn't want to know. <laughs> you call me old-fashioned, but I think Barbara Walters' virginity is none of my business. That should be between Barbara and King Arthur. Right there. <laughs> Just them. She was a young reporter. He was a mythical king. So, where is your round table? <laughs> Hey, do you know that movie, King Arthur, the King Arthur, where, where uh, Sean Connery was King Arthur and Richard Gere was, uh, was Sir Lancelot? Remember that movie? Well, and I didn't see it either, but they, uh, <laughs> No, there was this movie, and uh, Ben Cross, who was in Chariots of Fire, he played the bad guy, but he beat me in the audition for... I auditioned for that movie. I could have been in that movie, and instead I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and this would have been the Late Late Show with Ben Cross. <laughs> Which uh, it might not be, but anyway, uh, yesterday on eBay, this is true, a buyer paid $18,000 for a pair of Quinn, Quinn? Quinn. <laughs> Queen, Queen Elizabeth's underpants. <laughs> That's true, they were on, I don't know how, uh, yes! $18,000 for a pair of underpants. He said buying them was easy, the tough part was getting them off her, but he bought <laughs> Do you believe it? That can't be true. How do you authenticate that? <laughs> Anyway, the, the real reason it's a great day for America, of course, is we have a new American Idol this evening. Her, yeah. <laughs> I, I just watched the finale before I came out because we were live in your region, and... <laughs> I always think the American I, uh, Idol finales are kind of overrated. They don't announce the winner to the very end. It's two hours of boredom, and it builds up to a few seconds of excitement. It's like sex. <laughs> and they both end with me screaming, You picked the wrong guy! <laughs> No, wait. I didn't, I didn't watch the uh, American Idol yet. Yeah, I've got it on my TiVo thing. Uh, so don't tell me who won. <laughs> I'm going to watch it tonight, right after I watch the season premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm not watching that. Anymore. I do like watching the American Idol, though, to see the new judge, you know, the sexy mamacita. She's gorgeous. What's her name again? Uh, 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 Steven Tyler. No. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, of course, and, uh, but the rumors are that Jennifer <laughs> I think she must have known I was going to be here tonight. <laughs> this is a worry to me, a vexation of my spirit. I begin to think something Shakespearean, <laughs> which we could add later. If only we weren't live. <laughs> Do you have a favorite of Shakespeare's plays? Midsummer Night's Dream. Ah, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? With the play within the play? Yeah. <laughs> Almost like a late night talk show within the late night talk show. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever played any uh, Shakespearean roles? I was Mustard Seed in Midsummer Night's Dream. A fairy. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're, 
<laughs> We're very impressed. What is environmental science then? You study sustainability and conservation of the planet. <laughs> and how are we doing? We could do better. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? <laughs> I think you're lovely. Thank Wait, you. How long are you going to be in the, in the college there? Two more years. Ah, and then study the environment for money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Methinks she'll be doing a late night talk show like everyone else. <laughs> we'll be right back. Ferguson, sponsored by Denny's, America's...